Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. So guys, in this particular video, I will be discussing today's Gen C interview experience for the Python cluster. This interview happened today only that is on 27th November 2024. So guys, make sure that you are watching this video till the end because a lot of questions related to Python were asked and you will be getting to know different different types of questions which can be asked from you. Okay. So guys, before moving ahead, do hit that like and subscribe button for this channel because a lot of videos regarding different different companies I keep on posting on this channel. So make sure that you are getting the uh, notification for it. Do hit that uh, bell icon also. And guys, we have made a dedicated Telegram group for 2025 batch students. All the discussion regarding different different companies are happening in this particular group. So make sure to join it. The link you can find in the description box as well as in the pinned comment. Okay. So guys, now let's start this video. Okay, so guys, as you all know, the first question will be introduce yourself. So guys, uh, by this particular question, the intern wants to know that, okay, what all things you have done. So you can include your education background, your skills, your internships, your projects, your extracurricular activities, all these things you can include in your answer. And your answer should be around one to one and a half minutes. Okay, I hope now this question is clear to you. Next is explain your project. So again, this is the second most important question as per the interview is concerned. So what you have to tell about your project, how you have to uh, explain your project, how, what technology stack you used, what challenges you faced, how you overcome those challenges. All these type of questions can be asked from the project section. If you don't know how to explain your project in the interview, the links are in the I button or in the description box. Do check them out. <clears throat> Next question is remove duplicate in array. Okay, this is the coding question which was asked, but again, you don't have to write the entire code. You can only tell them the pseudocode. So for your reference, you can take the screenshot for it and you can <coughs> uh, give to the interviewer. Okay. I hope now this question is clear to you. Next question is what are sub queries? Okay. This was related to SQL. So again, sub query is a query within a query. So this is the reference answer reference that we have given to you. Okay. So select column from table where column name, then the expression and then the sub query. A query within the main query is known as a sub query and this is widely used in SQL. Okay. So I hope now this question is clear to you. Next question is what is the difference between DDL and DML command? Okay. So again, a very important question, very commonly asked question. So DDL stands for data definition language. DML stands for D, uh, data manipulation language. Okay. So DDL is used to create database schema and can be used to define, define some of the constraints. Whereas DML commands are used on the data. DDL are used to create the schema or schema related things, but DML commands are used for the manipulation of the data. Okay. So yeah. So uh, the uh, example of DDL commands are create, drop, rename, alter and the example of DML commands are update, insert, um, create, uh, select also. Okay. So I hope now this question is clear to you. <clears throat> Next is explain the asset properties. So asset property, the definition of asset property stands for A stands for atomicity, C stands for consistency, I stands for isolation, D stands for durability. Okay. Now you should know them in detail. Okay, you can take the screenshot for it or you can look your look for your answer in the Google also. Okay, so guys again now let's move towards the next question. But before moving towards the next question, I would like you to know that on our top mid page of code bachelors, we have important interview IT subject notes. If you will open these notes, you will find that in these particular notes total 12 subjects have been covered. So total 12 PDFs you will get inside these notes. Every PDF corresponds to different different subjects. C++ oops questions, interview questions, Java oops interview questions, Python questions, DBMS questions, SQL queries, coding questions which are commonly asked in the interviews. All these subjects, 12 subjects have been included in these particular notes. For every subject, there will be a dedicated PDF and in that PDF, you will get the at least 20 to 25 important interview questions of that subject as well as the answers also. So for every subject, 20 to 25 important questions their answers with the code snippet wherever required. Okay. So these particular notes can be helpful for you if you are preparing for any company interviews, not only the cognizant one, but any company because all the subjects we have covered here. So if you, so if you are preparing for your interviews or you want to revise your concepts or you want to do the last minute preparation, then these notes can be beneficial for you till now total 1642 students have bought it and we have got a good rating of 4.3 to 5. Okay. So if you are interested, the links you can find in the description box as well as in the pinned comment and you will get a lifetime access by just paying 109 rupees only once. Okay. So these notes can be helpful for you in many ways. So guys, now let's move towards the next question of this particular interview experience. Okay. Next question is what is the difference between set and tuple? 
so set does not contain uh, set is mutable so your tuple is immutable okay set does not contain the repeated elements tuple contains the repeated elements so this is the majority of the difference next is what are list in python so list stands for this okay so this is how a list is defined inside the python it is one of the data structure next is what is dictionary so again this is the dictionary we have key value pairs inside the dictionary in python next question is reverse a string so we can use a uh, string manipulation to do a reverse a string in python so again guys these all the questions that i have, I have discussed in this particular interview experience almost 70 to 80 percent questions are already present in these particular notes for python pdf okay in python pdf you will already find around similar 70 to 80 percent of questions that have been repeated from there only okay so i hope now this question is clear to you next is remove duplicate in the list in one line okay so again this was the uh, same question as asked before remove duplicate from the array so similarly in list also we can do it next is why do we use commit in sql so to commit a transaction this is a simple answer next is given a code to guess the output so you on the screen you were given a piece of code and you have to tell the output of that code okay so this was one of the type of question which was asked in this interview next is what are the different types of joins in sql so there are five to six type of joins one is pull outer join inner join left outer join right outer join there is self join also so yeah definitions you can learn on your own but on the high level i can tell you that these are the different types of joins that are present okay so now let's move ahead towards the next question what is a self join so a table joining itself is known as a self join that is simple next is what is init method so init method uh, is an instance method that is responsible for initializing the newly created objects so if in other languages you can see the constructor similarly here the init method is basically a constructor that is used to initialize a newly created objects okay so if you are finding this video helpful till here do hit that like and subscribe button okay if you have not done it till now and do join the telegram group that is dedicated for 2025 students the links you can find in the description box as well as in the pinned comment okay now let's continue towards the next question what is inheritance we all know inheritance is a parent child relationship wherein child inherits some of the properties from parent it helps in code reusability and code becomes more maintainable okay next is what is the difference between delete and truncate command so again a very commonly asked questions from dbms so delete command is used to delete a specific row whereas truncate command is used to delete the all the rows next is the uh, with delete command we can use the where clause but from truncate command we cannot use the where clause okay i hope now that this difference is clear to you delete is a bit uh, uh, slow whereas truncate is very fast next is what is a pass keyword so this is the example of pass keyword when we don't know what is the functionality of a function we can always write the pass statement there next is the last question of this particular interview was what are the difference between args and star args so using the code you can see what is the difference okay the definition and all you can re uh, read on the google and also you can check out these notes these, uh, this was the last question of this video so again i would like to remind you that these are the notes in which all the subject in important interview questions and answers are there for every subject we have uh, there is a pdf for it okay so this was the python cluster so many of the questions got repeated from this python notes only okay so if you are interested you can check out the links are in the description box as well as in the pinned comment okay the amount is 109 it's a very nominal price okay the access for these notes is lifetime okay so guys this was it for this video before moving ahead do join this telegram group links again you will find in the description box thank you for watching this video